Why visit a show like this? Is it beneficial? I think it is, but you might not. Today is my second day here at the show. Right over to my right is where the train station is, and behind me is where all the buses and taxis come in. Hello, I'm the CNC repairman, and I'm standing right behind the main entrance of the Hanover Messi. In front of me is a huge hotel, and all of the halls are all surrounded around this large fairgrounds with a courtyard in the middle. Why visit a show like this? Is it beneficial? I'm the CNC repairman. Are you a I'm gonna show you how the Niagara Falls is full of hockey. Now, you might live in the States or in Europe, and if you live in the States, I would go to IMTS. Somebody in Europe, definitely come. You're gonna make contacts, you're gonna see people. I met someone yesterday who introduced me to another cam software that I've never heard of, and now I know more people and more connections. That's how it works. So it's worth coming to a show like this. Today I'm gonna to visit the gear hall and the large machine hall. And let me show you what I see, and you can get an idea of, yeah, maybe I should come to this show. I think you should. Behind me is the main convention center here at Hanover Messi. It's kind of interesting the way the buildings all wrap around. There's a center courtyard and then some pretty interesting architecture. All of the buildings here have a Japanese or Oriental style look. And also the main overhang or what they call the gazebo area is entirely wood. And these whole grounds were built for a world's fair right around the 2000s. And what's kind of interesting, my hometown, Spokane, Washington, had an expo in 74, a world expo, and they almost last a year long. The expo here was expected to last a year and have over 40 million people. Honestly, it was a flop. History says there were less than 18 million people who came and it was a big financial whoop -dee. The buildings, when they were built, were some of the largest freestanding without center columns that had been built in the 2000s. And the World's Fair happened here and it, it didn't go so well. Not as many people came as expected. But to wrap this all the way around, what about machine tool shows? They canceled IMTS in 2020 and the 2022 show wasn't that good. And I don't know what the numbers are here for this emo show, but it just seems like our trade show is going away. Now I'm talking about why is it beneficial to come to a trade show? I think, I think it surely is beneficial. But if every booth has VR headsets and they're showing you their factory, how soon is it gonna be before trade shows are a thing of the past? They'll email you everything you need to know, you put on your VR headset and you do your networking. You work directly with your retailer. I'm just, I'm just talking now. Trade shows are great, but are trade shows a dying thing like world fairs have died? I was gonna kinda planning to go to the World Fair in 2020. Well, that was a flop, Corona. Having grown up in a World's Fair town where it really revolutionized my hometown. They rebuilt the whole downtown and brought in a bunch of industry and moved the railroad around. So just my overview, I hope, I hope machine tool shows keep going on, but I kind of in my gut feel like they're not gonna be a thing for very long. But, but keep going, going, oh man, I'll keep going, but I think they might be phased out just like World Fairs have been phased out. So that's the end of my day two emo tour. Had a great time visiting the Gear Hall. I got to talk to a number of good 
uh, broaching vendors and some other people who do honing and burnishing and just how they do the finishing of some of the stuff. The equipment is totally different than your metal cutting and uh, people who are doing sanding and all sorts of fabulous stuff. I had a good time talking to several people about some of the issues I'm dealing with, with having gears manufactured and not having them mesh right. So always great to come here and get some experience whether you want to talk to a tooling vendor or a software vendor or you want to talk to somebody like I was interested in talking to the gear companies about who makes the best gear machine. I didn't see any shaper machines. I thought I would see some shapers but I saw some electric hobs but nobody's doing gear hobs anymore. They're all aligning them with encoders. So just seeing where things are going, kind of my gut feeling like I don't know how much longer machine tool shows will be around. I'd say a lot of the big booths here just have pictures of their machine in their booth or videos instead of actually bringing the machine. Or a lot of them have VR headsets that you can wear. So, you know, is it, is it going away? I'm one of many, many YouTubers who are here making videos and I've seen people from a bunch of other countries with different languages and the film crew. There's a lot of people here charging big bucks to take videos of your booth because nobody's coming, they're all watching the videos. So just my two cents on it, let's see where the industry goes.